Every home should have a respite, a place that you escape, that is an oasis for you, that you can just be and rest and think and probably cry and just reflect on what's going on in your life. And for me, that's the waterfall garden. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and welcome back to our channel. Philip purchased the homestead property in 2016. In 2020, we purchased an additional 24 acres. So we have a total of 68 acres here at Kowalski Mountain. And the piece that I am on is that addition. And as we were exploring it for the very first time, there's a trail right up here behind me. And we were walking along that trail, just checking out our new property. And I saw this flat rock. You've seen video of people sliding down rocks in Tennessee, like a, a water slide. And it looked kind of like that to me, although it was pretty flat. And so I had to check it out. I wanted to find out what in the world that rock was. And when I came down here, that's when I discovered what I've named the waterfall garden. Now, doesn't look like much of a waterfall right now, I know. <laughs> but this waterfall is fed by mountain runoff. And when it rains, it's running nice. And when it's not, it's not running at all. And so right now we got rain at the beginning of the week when we got here and I did get some footage of that time. Um, but in just a week's time, there's no water flowing, but that doesn't discourage me of what this respite can be. Now Kentucky's had quite a bit of storm damage in the last few months. And unfortunately I've got a lot of cleanup to do down in here. Um, we've had some big tree limbs come down and that's going to require the use of a chainsaw. Now, I've used a chainsaw, but I certainly wouldn't consider myself experienced for the chainsaw. So I have not tackled that job by myself. And so for now, those tree branches are just going to have to stay there as there's too many other important projects that need Philip's attention for me to pull him off to cut up some logs for me. So right now my waterfall garden doesn't really look like an oasis, but that doesn't mean that I don't see the vision for what I want it to be. And it's gonna take me a long time to get there. So bit by bit, I'm gonna chisel away. And today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of chiseling on the steps. To get down in here, you do have to come down the hillside behind me and it's a little bit steep. So I'm putting in rock steps where my garden will come down into the waterfall garden. I have three that I put in probably two years ago and haven't taken time to add any more steps. But this trip I am and I'm going to bring you along while I install those steps. The waterfall starts right here and two creeks feed into this little part of the rock cut off. And then it comes around and it pours into a creek bed right here. Now over the years, this rock ledge has carved out. And you can see a pretty big piece recently fell off. That big piece, I don't believe was there the last time I was up here. But it continues around. into this area and the creek runs on down through where it empties into another creek. Now you can see all the down limbs that I need to clean out. That's on my to-do list for another day. Now earlier this week, I found some rocks in the creek on the other side of the property and I wrestled these big old rocks and I got them in the back of the ranger and I drove them over here to the waterfall garden. Now right above me on the hill, I chucked them down the hill and let them roll all the way down here. But today we're gonna install them. Now I have three steps right here behind me, which is where we're gonna start. 
Now you can see the three steps that I've already installed and they have been holding up good over time. It was kind of a test to make sure that they just weren't going to fill up with dirt and be covered up from the hillside above. So they've passed that test and we're going to continue up the hillside right up behind. Now I expect it's going to take about a dozen steps, um, but I'm going to do those just a few at a time. So do you see yet why I only do a few steps at a time? That's hard work. And this isn't the first thing I've done all week. We've been working all week, every day. And today's actually our last full day. So I was tired to start with, <laughs> but I wanted to do this today. Time for a drink. Now for this very first spot, I did a pretty big hole for it because I have a pretty big rock that's going to go there. And I want to have time and space to fit it properly for the area. broke the step in front of it. Ah! Well, that was a lesson learned. Well, I'm pretty happy with how stable that rock is. I am so disappointed I broke the rock in front of it. That rock might eventually have to be replaced. I think it's big enough to keep for now. Part of me thinks I should replace it now. I don't think I'm going to. I probably should. You can remind me later that you told me so and I should have done it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. gonna move the camera just in case I lose this rock. I don't want to lose my camera too.
night. I'll be glad when it's done. <laughs> Two down, two to go. So this last rock has a real conundrum. Um, it's got a really nice flat side, which will lay really nicely in the dirt and it'll probably be really easy to level. It's also the best side for the step. Nice smooth surface. And I'm debating if that matters. Because <laughs> really if you're walking out here in the woods, you're probably not walking out here in high heels which I have. Um, I had my wedding pictures taken back here. <laughs> so I have walked out here in high heels. <laughs> and that's actually my hope that maybe someday I can make this special enough that it could be a venue spot. It's gonna take me a long time to get there, obviously, but that is in the back of my mind as a possibility that this could be a venue spot. what to do. And I'm out of water. I drank it all. I have a little bit of ice left. But thankfully, I only have one rock left. I don't really want to go all the way back to the house because it's quite a long ways. This is on the back corner away from the property. I wonder if I can take a picture of where I'm at right now. <clears throat> if you've watched some of my videos, you know that I did a review on Hunt Stand, and Hunt Stand is a mapping property, and we use it all the time. I don't have great cell signal down here, so my map doesn't want to load. I took a snapshot. I'll put it on the screen just so you can see how far away I am from uh, the RV. It's a really good app. And I did an entire review on it, which you can look right here. 
And if you ever wondered, you see that I have my Kowalski Mountain shirts. And I wear my Kowalski Mountain shirts all the time out here at the property. And there's a really good reason why. It's because I always look like this. I'm always filthy dirty. And I was tired of ruining all my clothes. So I got some Kowalski Mountain shirts. So if I'm going to be filthy dirty and I'm going to ruin clothes, I'm going to ruin these clothes, not my entire wardrobe. Well, in case you're wondering, the flat side of the rock won. I'm tired. I'm really tired and the flat side of the rock is down. I need some rocks and the really nice thing about the creek bed being dry right now is I have lots of selection because there's no water in the creek. Well, I'm pretty happy with that and I have one more thing to do. I have some gladiola bulbs and I need to plant them and I want them planted out here. Now right now it's kind of shady out here but in the springtime before the trees fill in it's very sunny and so I think bulbs will do really nicely down here because they bloom really early and so I'm going to go ahead and plant these now. Now the really big question is where do I plant? Because I don't usually come up here when it's peak flooding. So I don't really know where the water flows exactly. I really feel like in this middle area is okay. There may be times of year when it's not but I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna concentrate on the center area first. Um, I need to make a point to come up here when it's storming. I need to see how white, I need to see how high the water really gets so I know exactly where I can plant. Well, friends, I don't know if you can hear that storm coming in, but we are going to get stormed on. So it's time to head home. I'm super happy with my steps so far. We are up to seven steps and I think it's going to take at least a dozen. My goal is to get up to those trees that are right up there above me. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that button. We appreciate you becoming a member of the Kowalski Mountain family. We'll see you next time.